sense that this is it. It, it, it. They have to move forward with their lives. And I often would look at those who were able to corner that and say, I'm just going to move on, even though it's going to be difficult, uh, seem to have more uh, productive or easier lives down the road, and, and as opposed to those who kind of just could not get past it, which I understand is extremely yeah. difficult. And it's almost like the defendants living in their head constantly. Talk to me a little bit about your thoughts on that. It's even with any type of litigation, um, litigation, trials, uh, lawsuits, um, just extend the trauma that people are there for. And we that's why we encourage people to get out of it uh, as fast as we can, uh, although lawyers like trying cases like myself. Uh, but but with regards to uh, the, the, the any type of um, con uh, contrition you're trying to get from somebody, there's a satisfaction, there's a win. And sometimes when you're in such trauma, you just don't even know what that means. You know, a lot of times people go into lawsuits and they just think it's money or they just think it's jail time or they just think it's, it's you know, a finding of guilty. But they realize that, Sometimes that's not enough, and they try to look for answers. And you're absolutely right. Some people just better than others. Uh, some people are more adjusted than others. But you could see that this mom that we just listened to, you could, you could just see it's just it's so raw. And and getting this over with hopefully helps all the victims move on um, in this. Yeah, and I think that with this case, it's especially more difficult for the victims because of the randomness of it. Like, you could put your arms around something where it's drugs oh, or no. gangs or <clears throat> infidelity, but this is just uh, really... Innocent people had absolutely nothing to do with this, which must make them wonder in their head, how could this happen? 